So we waited a month for Slayer to come out, and he is finally here. And damn, he was worth the wait. Hold right to assert dominance. Hi, I'm the Insane Metron, and I'm here to talk about this dandy vampire. Slayer is a badass haiku maker and dandy gentleman. And it turns out he can go head to head with Gabriel on a power level. He's so badass. You know Dizzy's insta-kill on Exert, where everyone is just scared from her explosion? I don't blame them. Hell, even Soul was scared. But the one dude who wasn't was Slayer, and he just shrugged it off! God damn! I recently started to like Slayer more when I watched the Exert story mode, and I thought he was pretty cool. If you thought Slayer's theme was good in Exert, oh, just wait till you hear ups and downs. Oh yeah, Slayer also made the Assassinations Guild, then retired when he met his wife Sharon, and she can't die. So Slayer has a fresh new paint job, and I'm loving that coat he has. I only have two complaints with Slayer, and they're small ones. I really wish he had his Aerial Super from Exert, because it looked really cool. And the second one is his whiff face. The flapping blossom, what's that? Whenever Slayer whiffed his command grab, he makes his funny face, and I love it. But they changed it in Strive where he stumbles a little bit. I just miss the funny face. On the one hand, gold. On the other hand, painful, agonizing failure. But I'm only nitpicking, so don't worry. Slayer is still awesome in Strive. Don't get me wrong. He's changed a little, but he's still the Slayer we know and love. So I'm going to get into his moveset now. So starting with 6 kick, it's an overhead attack. But if you hold kick, then he bows, and I really love that. We also got 6 punch and 6 heavy slash. Now onto his normals. His punch and kick are about normal, but I love his heavy slash. He punches the ground and leaves a dent. And if you thought soul spamming slash was bad, then oh boy, Slayer's giving you nightmares with that and his close slash. Now let's get into his lows. I love how when Slayer is low, he sits on bats like a chair. That is awesome. His low punch is alright, I do like how his kick makes him look like he's relaxing, while Slash brings in the opponent towards him for combos, and here's his low dust attack. And who can forget the legendary low heavy slash? Now let's talk about his aerials, here's punch and kick. I love his aerial slash, just a bunch of bicycle kicks, and his heavy slash. When I first saw it, I immediately thought of Ganondorf's aerial forward attack in Smash Bros. And here's his aerial dust attack. Now, onto Slayer's specials. Slayer's first move is Mappa Hunch, where he lunges forwards. It has a better distance if you input a kick, but it's slower compared to the punch input. Next is Dandy Step, where Slayer can move forward or back. But what makes his move Dandy is it has four follow-up attacks. After doing either version of Dandy Step, you can do Pile Bunker, which is almost like Mappa Hunch, but it has a slow recovery, so be warned about it. And next is Bump Ahead, where Slayer does a low kick. Next is It's Late, where he slams his fist as an overhead. And the last move is Master's Hammer. Slayer jumps and slams the ground. Don't be afraid to use it, as it's plus on block and is also a guard crush. So have fun with that move. Slayer also has a command grab called Blood Sucking Universe, where if it lands, then Slayer becomes powered up. And if you land a hit, you get where you deal more damage. Slayer even has a backdash move called Hand of Doom. Now it's time for his supers, and they are awesome! Slayer's first one is Super Mappa Hunch. It's an invincible super, and Slayer's clothes need to catch up with him. And Slayer's last horizon super is amazing. Shit players, I'm coming for you out there with Slayer. <laughs> I'm loving what Arc Systems did with Slayer here. I had a lot of fun playing him with Dittos online the first day, and I actually had a good time compared to when Ava came out day one. Don't worry guys, 
Here's Slayer's reaction to Fossa's Super. So I'm pretty happy with what they did with Slayer and Strive. They made him a bit more simpler to play and gave him new supers. I've been noticing this with how each character in Exerd came over to Strive, and it's pretty cool to see new ideas used on the characters that we know and love. I thought it was hilarious to see Nagoruruki, Zato One, and Slayer talking about dandyism in Slayer's arcade mode. You know, I don't know why my YouTube persona hasn't barged in here and started yelling at me. I wonder what he's doing. Yeah, what base? Oh well, might as well finish recording Twilight Princess then. See you later guys, and have a nice day. Ciao! Kimi to aru. Man fucking. Dumb.